Hello everyone, um, bring you another topic to talk about. Um, obviously I'm in the car, um, hopefully eventually I'll uh, do something inside, but right now it's in, in the car. Um, the topic is why your excuses will ruin you. And you know, I bet you know a lot of people that are full of excuses. Um, I can give you a story of like uh, one of the girls. Um, turned 18 in probably August and um I I you know because 18 is like a you can start with stocks and everything and I I told her and I'm trying to get started early because the more time you put in um the more money you'll make and um she, you know every week it's a different excuse uh I gotta get my nails done uh I had to pay for this, you know. And I know uh, she's going out a few nights a week, uh, and she's spending her money on things she doesn't need. And um, I always tell her, I wish I had someone in my ear when I was your age, because I didn't. And I bet a lot of you people, if you had the right person in your ear at a young age, you would you would be make a millionaire, you know, and it's so simple. Like uh, even just doing a hundred a month in the stock market can make you six figures in thirty years or more. And I know a lot of you can do more than a hundred a month, even when you were eighteen. So it's like uh, if you if you don't put in the stock market, it's money you're probably gonna. Waste on clothes, uh, jewelry, uh, stuff you don't need. And, you know, with this girl, I'm just trying to explain to her, you know, 18, you know, this is your best chance to do something. Because life from here just gets harder. It doesn't get uh, any easier. So, um, in talking about excuses, um, excuses are for, like, losers, I believe. And then being a loser can become a habit you know so like like being positive or or winning can you can be attracted to you can also attract losing and um in saying that you can't wait for good things to happen you have to make them happen it's not like you know things are just going to happen right off the back for you you have to make them happen you have to be the one that does it, not someone else. I mean, and and in saying this, also, you know, some people think just doing thirty percent or fifty percent is enough to get by. But you gotta do more. You really want to make it? You gotta go a hundred percent, not ninety percent, not eighty percent, a hundred percent if you want to have it. And you know, as they, you know. They always say in life, like the the bigger the dream is, the harder the harder it is. Do you think anyone who wants to win an NBA championship can just uh, get by um, being a minimal or, or practicing half the time? If you want to achieve the highest goals in your life. You will have to work hard. Small goals, less work. Do you want to sell for less or do you want to sell for more? And I, I believe most people want to sell for more. So just remember, when you start climbing that mountain or that skyscraper, it's just going to keep getting harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. And you just got to grind it out. And the fact that it's getting harder is you know you're doing something right, but you got to keep going. You can't give up. You got to stay strong. And I mean, you, you, I mean, everyone wants someone to guarantee something to them. How about guaranteeing to yourself that you're going to win? How about guaranteeing yourself that you're going to do something different, that you're going to make it happen? Stop waiting for other people to dictate your life. And that's what a lot of you are. You let 
other people control and dictate how you live. How about you take the steering wheel and you start driving? Get out of the driver's seat. Because being on the driver's seat, you're always going to be um, controlled by the person that's driving. So, I mean, I, I, that's how I feel. So, you, I feel you have to look in the mirror and then just um, see, see yourself and see, you know, who's that person you're looking at? Is that person a weak person or a strong person? Is that person going to be the one that takes the steps to go forward? Remember, in life, there's hundreds of thousands of people that want what you want. Or not millions, or if not millions, that want what you want. So what do you think you have to do? You think they're going to um, work less harder than you? They're going to work their butts off. So if you really want it, you're going to have to work harder than them. And that's how you're, you have to think. You have to get it. You have to work hard. So you, you got to stop blaming someone else and stop being a victim. Because everyone has that victim mentality. And it's not it's not what someone else says, it, it's what you do. And it's up to you. It's it starts with your effort and your attitude. You need to have a, a hundred percent hard effort and you have to have a positive attitude. That's the only way you're going to make it. If you don't have those two things, then you might as well just sell for less. Sell for working for someone. The winners in life get up early and leave later. At my job, I'm usually the first one there and last one to leave. And I do that all the time. Because that's me. You know, I... I always give it my all, whatever I do. And, you know, especially with this channel, I'm going to give it my all. And I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to, um, my goal is to have a video every single day. No matter what's going on in my life. So, the big thing here is you got to learn to control your emotions. Because, you know, there's, um, you know, you have a left and a right conscience. And they, you know, one's positive, one's negative. And the negative one's always telling you, you can't do it. You won't do it. You won't be able to do it. So you got to be able to learn to block this person out. Block the, your conscious out on the right. And tell them you are going to do it. And you need to become who you need to be. And who you're meant to be. And you know who you're meant to be. So, I feel um, the biggest thing is um, a lot of people are just not honest with themselves. Give yourself an honest assessment. Ask yourself, did you take the extra steps? Did you um, go, um, go from two to three? Did you, um, you know, put the um, best foot forward? Are you doing the things to change your life? You need to, you know, you need to be honest with yourself. If not, something has to change, and you're gonna have to figure it out. I mean, you can listen to whatever I say, but it's up to you. So it's gonna come from deep inside, and you you have to realize you're going in the wrong direction, and you want to change that direction. So, one last thing I do want to say is, um, and I say this to a lot of people I work with, do what you say you're going to do. So, you, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. You have to make the commitment to yourself. That's all it's going to take, is you making a commitment to yourself. The very successful people, they commit to themselves 
and they do it all the time. No days off. You know, no days off. If you practice five days, practice seven days. If you're tired, I know. It's hard, I know. But keep getting up. Don't lay down. Get back up. No matter how many times you fall, get back up. Because uh, for a lot of you, you're just one thing away from becoming rich. One thing away from becoming wealthy. So it's one thing that if you do, you might change your whole life and you might thank yourself later. So just remember um, with everything, one step away from financial freedom. Thank you. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, yeah. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe down below. And please uh, check out my other videos. I'm going to be talking about investing, finance, stocks, um, anything you can imagine, ways to make money. And that's the goal, to get everyone rich and wealthy. All right? Thank you again, and we'll see you tomorrow.